Another Brick fan here with a helmet from the Batman Classic TV series. This is Batman Classic TV series, Batman Cow. This is set 76238, was released in October 2021, has 372 pieces and cost about $60 when it was released. This is the second Batman cowl that's been released. The first one being on the more modern or the Dark Knight style of Batman. This one, of course, from the classic 60s TV series, which starred Adam West and is very nostalgic for a lot of Batman fans. As you can see, this cowl is actually done in black and blue. So it has a dark blue. It is about a lot more obvious when you look at it from the side. There's some really good sculpting around the sides. The ears are just done with these large kind of sloped pieces here. The back is quite plain, just the, the straight studs here in the back. And the other side is done pretty much like the first side, like the other side we looked at. The front has a few stickers, so there are three stickers, one on for each eyebrow kind of, and then this one in the middle that kind of connects them together. Then the eye sockets here just don't have any bricks in them, so they're just dark. And then the nose is actually a printed piece. Interestingly, this is not connected to the base, so it just lifts right off. And you can kind of see the internal, this has a lot less internal structure this has a lot less internal structure than any of the other helmets. Most of the other helmets have, aren't, are kind of more solid inside, have a lot more pieces. So that's why the piece count is so low on this one. Unfortunately, it was still the same price as the other ones. Another difference here is it uses these kind of smoke colored or what you call trans black, I suppose, pieces to give you that kind of that translucence here to give it more of a look like it's floating sort of. The uh, printed nameplate down here, ID plate, is standard with all of these hand helmet builds, so I thought that turned out pretty nicely. Let's take a quick comparison of this one to the previous Batman helmet. Here are the two helmets side by side, and you can definitely see the color difference. So the, the blue helmet here for the classic Batman, all black for the modern Batman, the new cowl, helmet slash cowl, has a chin piece underneath and it's kind of open here for the mouth and the bottom of the nose. It does have these white pieces back here to represent the eyes, which I kind of like that look better than the black here, but I think this is accurate to what the original cowl looked like. I do like this white though, like it really makes the eyes show up. Uh, once again, this does use a lot of the transparent black or the smoke colored pieces to kind of give the helmet the look of floating. The ears are bigger here on the bat, on the new Batman cowl. And I did a full review of that Batman cowl, which I'll leave the link up for you here. Overall, I really like this piece. Now I, I watched the 1960s Batman show in reruns and really enjoyed it. It was pretty campy, but it still was a lot of fun to watch. Some of the stories were good, and it was amazing how many great actors and actresses they got to play roles in that show. So this was a, a fun piece for me to get and uh, build. As I mentioned, uh, it, it does come at the same cost as the other helmets, around 50, you know, around $60, and it has far fewer pieces than most of the others as well. So on the value side, probably not the best value. I mean, it's creeping up to around 15 or more cents per piece on this one as far as the 10 cents that I like to use as kind of a good measure. Um, I realize that the nostalgia of it and maybe some of the licensing costs account for some of that, but I just expect that Lego was charging the same for all of these helmets and, you know, figured they could just get away with uh, charging the same for this, even though it's smaller and less pieces. Just quick opinion, um, can't complain too much. I did purchase this set and I think it looks really good. So I hope you enjoyed my thoughts on this Batman cowl. I'm gonna get started on my next video. And until then, happy building. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to see more of my content. 
I left a link to some of my other review playlists up here on the screen.